afternoon. Welcome back to the Amman Stadium. It's uh, Banarama football on non-league day. And it's Blanky Town versus Bristol Rovers. Hard man to get a ball pass this afternoon, it has to be said. Spark shoots and it's a flying ball and it's uh, right in the uh, right upright. Uh, so no doubt the likes of Munkas and uh, Cunnington will be running in and this uh, heads go up and uh, it's an iron head in the form of Jordan Fox who gets that ball out again for a second corner. really loitering at the edge of the penalty area so the, the ball's going to be in swung as it comes in and it just needs an iron head oh. and a great save by Nick Haman that was a great attempt the ball's cleared well the kick and there's a hard hit ball and he's looking for Dan Sparks and Dan Sparks fires the ball in wide and Jordan uh, Cox bit slow again. Uh, luckily, the ball comes off of Sam Pelican. And a nice ball from Isaacs finds James Mully who skips Mansell and uh, says Isaacs cuts inside. A good ball back to James Mully yet again. Brakes moving the ball very well and coming forward with some pace and some good ball work. Now it takes a good delivery from Dan Sparks and the glass again. Oh! And uh, both Akinola and Jordan Cox so close to grabbing the, ink, the opening game of this. He's got to find the head of Jordan Cox. He does find him. Back to Chez Isaac. Good ball to Sparks. And uh, Dan Sparks does well there. Lays the ball off into plenty of space for Sam Havijam. He just sits back and leads the ball in yet again. And uh, this time, uh, and that could be a penalty. It is a penalty. And uh, Jordan Cox there was... Uh, had a go out, and it really people should be on there very quickly. And I don't see what happened there. I think Jordan Cox's foot was up. But the referee pointed to the... The referee... The Massey's running back report to his manager. Tell him what was going on. Saying that uh, calling forward. A lot of argy bargy going on, and the referee's now consulting with both his linesmen, and they're not, still not sure what's happening here. So the referee's sending his men away. The referee is... Oh, it is a penalty to Braintree after all that. And, uh, Crystal Rovers fans will see this as justice if Steve uh, Milner can plant and uh, get a save out of it. Kenny Davis has missed one this season. In front of all those Bristol fans, there's a bit of. Uh, he needs to just go up there and slam this in the back of the net if he can. And the referee blows his whistle, and Timmy Davis does exactly that. And it's 1 0 to Blanchard. Uh, a lot of Bristol fans will not be too happy. And, uh, you, can, you know that uh, you can guarantee that uh, being an ex League 2 team, the supporters are still League 2, but. Uh, What's the pushing now? It's short. One hands off, and the ball's whipped in now, and the heads go up. And the ball's not loose, and it's a great. Yeah! Yeah! It's Tom Park who dragged with the penalty at the other end. And he's equalised in open play. The ball wasn't quite cleared by. Well, it kind of done. If the ball was in the back of the net, but uh, I'm saying they equalised, but they hadn't done. Thank you, Town. Oh, 
just whipped in there, it's looking for a good head, and it's well taken. That was Andy Monkhouse, got his head onto it, as it was forced straight at the arms of Nick Haman. But that was a good effort on goal. Massey just takes a touch and follows it back up the pitch. It's, uh, it's collected in midfield and a little back flick there from Andy Monkhaus gets the ball into the area and that ball's still flying. And uh, Dave Martin gets on it. He's looking to try and get a cross in and it does come in. And a flicking header by Jamie White. Keeps the ball out in the last few minutes. The ball's still mainly in the Branky half. As Bristol Rovers... Uh, Maintain, try to keep the pressure on Cunnington this time. Well, tackled by Alan Massey. Mr. Rovers just continue to move the ball around. It's a good run. Alan Massey misses a tackle, and this this ball comes in, and then it's a head up, just taken away from goal, but only as far as Dave Martin, who flicks that ball in. And Alan Massey with a timely uh, head up. He bends well over the top of the goal with uh, Adam Cunnington trying to work his way into the goal as well be a corner no stranger to Essex spent a couple of years at uh, South End a couple of seasons ago <laughs> the best of headers from Tess Isaac it's forward there it's over hit and going to find Jordan Cox once again Ball's found nicely, a nice layoff there to Sparks from John Cox. The ball trips in, it's a spinning header, and it's only just wide, almost a debut goal there from Timian Akinola. Great glancing header, and it's only just wide of the post. Uh, good opening uh, gambit in the first minute. But, uh, interesting good work from Cox there, got the ball laid off to Dan Sparks. And then the Put in by Sparks, found the head of Julian Akinola as uh, Steve Milner gets this ball forward again and the full slip forward and the touch there into the path of Dave Watson and the great save there and it's cleared away by Alan Moss Massey. And Nick Hammond did well there to get back down so uh, within the space of the first uh, minute and a half. High. And I actually gets a good strong header on it. Yeah, great work there by James Mulley. Yeah, ball looked out, but it wasn't. And Remy Clarira, good clearance. I'm saying that will be able to chase this down in time. And if he gets on with some pace, he's going to catch uh, Bristol Rovers snapping. There's only three at the back. Sam whips in, lays the ball off to Akinola. Akinola inside finds Tess Isaac across to Kenny Davis. And Kenny Davis takes a stab, it takes a deflection. But, uh, unfortunately, Paul. Send that ball forward again. It's headed up. Massey takes the ball forward. Scott's can't control it, but says Isaacs can and uh, gets the ball into it. It's a bit of space for Sam Habigan. Says Isaac. Going to be work back here by Bristol, and that's sped up. Brain trick, just containing, frustrating a little bit. This time Cox, a little head forward, and this time it does find Simeon Akinola. Lovely bit of ball work. And that's been the corner of the net. It's a great strike there from Dan Sparks, who for the second game on the trot scores a goal in open play. And that's an absolutely excellent reply. They've been under a bit of the cost from Bristol Street Rovers, but on the end of these. And directing it goal bound. This one whipped it again. It's a lovely ball in and the head's missed it all again. Uh, lying flat on the deck. Jim will go, well, maybe it's going to go short, I think. And, uh, Ball really wasted there, absolutely wasted. And uh, behind there, just be careful. And this ball's a better hit by Nick Command into the middle of the park. It's going to be a head up. Really, Sam Habigan. And a great glancing error again. This time into space, and 
Maximilian Nakinola will get hold of this and he'll just dance around his man. And he's really going to fire the ball in. He doesn't mind taking a stab at goal. Substitution for Bristol Rovers, replacing number 27, Adam Cunnington. Number nine, Ryan Brunt. Camera. Just trying to tidy up. Next run to the game. Stick of the action. Gets the ball away, but not very far. Uh, we'll try and throw people down as Andy Monk has, makes a run and shoots. And it's always go it was going. It was, it was almost dropping towards the goal. Look, come on. Uh, comes in. It's sent forward by Alamassi. Just the right way, and this time James Mully gets on it. He's going to edge towards the box, and he takes a shot. But it's just wide of that right upright again. Third uh, Rachel last season came from Leicester City. And, uh, he made an, in, an immediate impact when he came on, and this uh, ball's whistled in, and uh, it's just wide and upright. So, Mully, uh, he. Uh, Got players to fit in his deal with Brundle. He's trying to pass the ball around. Dan Walker. Kenny Davis. Braintree content at the moment with uh, a minute or so left on the clock. Forward ball to Simonet Inola. Man of the match. He lays a little ball off for Steve Smith and Steve Smith cuts one across and it flashes the cross goal. It was always climbing but uh, would have been a spectacular end to the game and this uh, 